Hi guys, welcome to another Minecraft one tutorial. Today I've got something really, really awesome to show you. I am literally just found out this was a thing, and I'm making a tutorial on it already because it's absolutely amazing. Now, you probably cannot tell at the moment what it is. So, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to try and show it you. So, no, watch the texture. You see it? You probably know from the title of the video. Yes, today we are going to be adding connected textures. Look at how cool that looks. So what we're actually going to be adding connected textures to isn't going to be the canvas because, well, I had to t obviously test this. What we're going to be adding connected textures to is the machine frames. So these will be more distinctly textured connected textures, obviously. And I will have to put a disclaimer out right now that this will only work when a chisel mod is installed and only when a chisel mod is installed because the way it works is it uses a CTM a connected texture manager which chisel provides because as as you'll know chisel it has connected texture okay that's not a connected texture it's a great example um let's anti blocks so it has connected textures that's a really great example. I'm doing great. Okay, red one. That'll do it. So, as you can see, that connects to texture. And so they had to provide something that would do it. And this is a really simple way of doing it. And really powerful. There is another way which I have done as well. I'm not going to be covering that today. Is it? It's a little bit more advanced. So, yeah. Let's crack on with it. So, we'll close this. We don't actually need any coding at all. To answer, we can close all of these. It's all done in model and texture files. So, here we have a website uh, provided well, it's on GitHub. And this shows us how we should texture our connected textures. So, let's head over to our assets. So, we go to our textures and our blocks. And you will see I've added a new folder called CTM. And that's how I've added the canvas one. So what we're going to do is we're going to get the different machine frames here. And we're going to paste them in here. And we're going to edit them. Now, I'll bring it up here. This is how it textures it. So we have one texture here. Which just holds the normal face when it's on its own. Nothing connected to it. And that's also going to be the one your block is. So we can refer this to as just the one in here. Then this texture here is what we've put in a CTM folder. This one is when it's connected on all sides, as demonstrated by the arrows. This one's connected top and bottom. This one connected left and right. And that one connected top, left, right, bottom. And basically just the corners. So we're going to have to convert these models into the new model. So we're going to double the texture size. And this one, we won't actually be needing the texture. So, we might as well start now. So, yeah, so the one in the corner, this actually will have no borders at all. So, actually, let's start. We need to put this in all four locations. Like so. Bring it over. All four locations. So, this is what we're currently seeing in the game. What we now need to do is convert them to the correct one. So this one, this one's going to have no borders. So all I will do is I'll scale up the texture. Be one more bigger. So uh, shift hot to scale it correctly. You want to put it on nearest neighbor and use the clipping mode like so. So that's the whole thing. This one is going to be the corner. So you need to select the area. So as this one was top and bottom on the right, you need a top and a bottom part here, like so. And then as this one was on the side, we need the sides, one and two, like so. And then this one has to have it on the top and the bottom. So we get the top one, we put it on the top, like so. We get the bottom one, we put it on the bottom, uh, not stretching it out, hopefully. That's stretching it out. Okay. And get this one here. So put that on the right hand side. And get this one. And put 
I'm stretching it out again, putting it on the left hand side. So that will be the corner one and that is actually our texture done. What we need to do is inside the CTM we need to actually create two more text files. So create a new text document and we're going to call this machine underscore basic and we're going to rename the file extension to CTX. And what we're going to do is we're going to have to open with and I'm going to select notepad plus plus. Here we go. So what we're going to do inside here is we need to set the type of it. So the type is going to be, I'll make a full screen actually, uh, type of CTM. And then what we do is we set the textures. So textures, this is exactly like a mod file except for different file extension. And we need to just put in a different texture. So the first texture that we put is the main texture, um, which is just the one in textures blocks that one here uh, so this is just boe colon blocks slash and machine underscore basic and then the other texture that we're going to have is we're going to need to do a dot slash saying it's in this folder and it's called machine underscore basic as well simple as uh, sorry, I just had to check that. That's machine basic, so we might as well go inside here, copy the machine basic, change it to advanced on the name, open up advanced, change it all to advanced. Pretty self explanatory. And then what we need to do is head over to our model. So, a model for a block. As you can see, I have made a new folder again. The canvas one, you need to add something from the bottom which will work on now so ctm what we need to put in here is a new text document we need to call it whatever we called the block so machine underscore basic was the actual name of the model not json like that and uh, it's not it's not a json file is it no uh machine underscore basic and it's dot cf is a file format we're going to open with yet again notepad plus plus like so and we now need to open this up and say the textures and quite simply the textures are quite simple to implement it's just a list like so and all we need to do is put boe colon ctm because we already put it in the block folder and it is just machine underscore basic .ctx we can save that head over to our actual block model now so this is actually in our machine frame advanced and what we're going to go into is the machine frame advanced and machine frame basic and we're just going to add a little bit on the bottom called ctm going to open it up and we need to say what model we're using or what model it's going to use. So model, open it up. It's like a block state, so we need to put the model again. And all we're going to use is just the block, the default block one. And all we need to do is face, and face is just BOE colon CTM slash, and then it's the CF file we just made. So ours is machine underscore advanced dot CF, like so. So to make your item now work with this, we have to alter the model a little bit. So let's go over to item. Let's go over to machine frames. Let's open up these uh, right here. I'm just going to, I've probably closed it, haven't I? Okay, I'm going to reopen it. Okay, let's open it. So the parent is obviously this, but this isn't going to work anymore. So what we need to do is put the parent as block slash cube underscore all. And just do textures colon. And all we need to do is say that all is the texture of BWE colon blocks slash machine underscore fre uh, machine underscore basic, I believe. Or advanced. Machine underscore advanced. If I can spell advanced. 
and we'll just copy and paste this for this one and change it to basic that should fix that error there okay so the game is loaded up so if you go inside the test world um, and our item now looks correct which is amazing so as you can see connected textures oh geez you gotta love a bit of connected textures now you will note that these connected textures will not work with the block breakers which is unfortunate but we can get it to work i believe with these i believe it might be possible if it does work that will be absolutely amazing so thank you guys for watching don't forget to like comment and subscribe i am out